Hello everyone, I'm Mason Beam with the Wise News Network and today what I've got for you is the ribbon cutting and announcement for the Gaston County Community Support Services new opening. Now you may be asking yourself, what does this organization bring to Gaston County? With a vision statement of the Gaston County government will be a model of excellence in public service leadership, innovation, collaboration, and inclusion, ensuring the safety and well-being of residents, preserving natural resources, and providing recreational, cultural, and economic opportunities that lead to global success and set the stage for future generations, is it any wonder that since its opening, the GCCSS has helped over 2,000 citizens with programs like the Cold Weather Shelters. The Gaston County Community Support Services is led by Gregory Greer as its director and hosts several programs. Let's go to hear from some of the speakers at the ceremony to learn some more about this. My name is Gregory Greer and I have the pleasure and privilege of serving as the Director for Community Support Services. On behalf of the Community Support Services team, we would like to welcome each of you to our ribbon cutting and our open house. Community Support Services was formally, formally began as a division within the Department of Health and Human Services a year ago and our administrative team moved in this office space in November. It has been our mission to provide excellent public service every day. It is our hope to meet the needs of our community through supportive services, and, it's our, and it is our dream for all of our services to be housed in the same building in a shared location with additional community wraparound services. Thank you, Dr. Greer, Mr. Hovis, for those remarks. Um, but good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin Amos, and I serve as Chief of Staff for the Gaston County and County Manager's Office. On behalf of the Gaston County Manager's Office, I'd like to formally welcome you all to the grand opening of Community Support Services Facility. The hardworking folks in CSS serve a critical support role in carrying out the county's mission of providing excellent public service every day. I wanted to provide you all a glimpse into this critical work that CSS provides. They supported Hope for Holidays, which served over 1,700 children this year. They supported our Hope Fest 2023, which served 150 people, many of whom were in unhoused and in critical need. They helped support the cold weather shelter, which has been open at least 30 days so far this year and has served 471 people. They have helped coordinate 435 volunteer hours to date to operate the cold weather shelter. They have helped to They've helped allocate $2.8 million to help mitigate the opioid crisis, which has gone to support recovery, transportation, community paramedicine, opioid use disorder treatment and medication, certified peer support specialists to support parents and children in the child welfare system, to support family preservation and reunification. In addition to what Mr. Amos just spoke on, they also have programs such as Access, aimed at arranging economical transportation solutions for the community the peer support program, which assists in mental health services, as well as some special projects such as the Opioid Settlement Bunding Plan, which you heard about earlier in Amos' statement. Now, Grace and I got to personally speak with Dr. Greer and Melanie Lawrence on the cold weather shelters last week, and let me tell you, it is amazing how quick of a response time these guys have. They were able to get several pop-up shelters up when things got below freezing, in addition to the regular one in Gastonia. So be sure to check them out as well as their website, which I will put in the link in descriptions below. They have a list of purchasable products they need by the community for those wishing to help out. And if you need help yourself, feel free to give them a visit. As always, everyone, if you're enjoying our content, be sure to drop a like down below and find us on our other socials. We'd love to see you on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, or anywhere else. And to get a hold of us or read up on our articles, you can go to wisenewsnetwork.com or you can email us at newsdesk at wisenewsnetwork.com. See you next time, everyone. This has been Mason Beam with the Wise News Network.